Hey guys, do me a favor, stop what you're doing and click that subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. I need you to head over and give me a follow. Thanks in advance. Now on to the video. Hey fam, what is up? Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. If it's your first time watching, my name is Cece and we're about to do a closet tour today. So make sure to go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And I'm not gonna talk too much. You guys know I've been rambling about this guy for weeks now. I finally got it, I think the way I want it. And so I wanted to show you guys what it looks like, what I have in it, tell you guys exactly what what it is all the information for everything will be linked down below in the description box so make sure you check the description box if you're looking for any of the links and I'm so proud of it y'all I'm so proud of it I love it and I'll probably be getting more pieces to add on to it in the future but this is what we look like right now no more talking let's dive right in okay you guys here it is here is an overview of my little wardrobe closet wall I'm so excited to be sharing this with you guys I hope you enjoy it I will have links to everything that I talk about down below and let's just go through it i'll give you guys a look see at my master closet upstairs once that is complete but y'all it's still stuff everywhere up there so i'm still kind of trying to figure out where i want things so that'll have to wait a little bit but for now you can see this beauty right here so i will go through these guys over here once i do the room and the makeup collection tour and all of that but these are just drawer sets that i grabbed from amazon years ago they're still available and i'll make sure they're linked down below but i love these drawers they're very comparable to the ikea not what is it the ikea alex drawers they're very comparable to that um, but i don't have an ikea near me and they charge an arm and a leg to ship some things so yeah now what you all have been waiting for is this guy so we have the ikea pax wardrobe system and what's so amazing about this guy is that it's customizable so every piece like i could make this look completely different if i wanted to i can move shelves from here to over here i can remove that rod which i might do anyway and just put a couple extra shelves i can make that shelf in the middle a glass shelf i can do so many things with this guy it's just it's not even funny like i can put shelves up here and i i mean it will look like a totally different unit so that's what's really nice about this it's fully customizable and it's so well made I had never bought anything from Ikea before because like I said I don't have one near me so I didn't realize how well made and sturdy this stuff was and it's very well made and very affordable is another amazing thing so to get a custom closet like this installed is thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars trust me I looked so you can do this closet option here like if i wanted to make this whole room just a room of closet i could do that and it would be so much more affordable i can't remember exactly how much everything was i won't put it on the screen here but this entire system i want to say was around 500 maybe a little over 500 dollars with everything because you have to buy every piece individually so you buy the rods individually you buy the drawers individually the shelves everything but the actual like the actual what do you call it the actual shell of the system like this piece right here these were only like a hundred dollars a piece for those so that's really good i have one 19 inch which i'm sorry two 19 inches which are the two end units and then the middle unit is a 39 inch with the unit so the ones that i have again i'll make sure they're all linked in the description box so you guys can see them so let's just start 
up top here, I always keep my designer boxes. I don't have that many designer things, as you guys know. So I make sure to keep my designer boxes and I just think they look really good decorated up here. And as I get designer pieces, I'll continue to add to the top, but I just have a Louis Vuitton, a Chanel, Gucci, YSL, box and then a Tiffany's and a Tory Burch and a Louis Vuitton box over here and this guy I've mentioned before those flowers that is actually my wedding bouquet from over nine years ago y'all it was an artificial bouquet I did not have real flowers and I'm so happy I didn't saved a bunch of money and I get to keep that bouquet forever so I love that Moving into the left unit, this is where I decide to house most of my purses and then a few pairs of like shoes and boots since we're into fall. I don't have like any backpacks down here and I don't have my all of my work totes down here because I do use this guy for a work tote so the rest of my work totes are kept upstairs in my master closet but I got all of my other small purses in here so I have two hats just up at the top those are just two fedoras I think both of them are from Amazon if I'm not mistaken and then I showed these in a recent haul these are the Marc Jacobs tote bags I have those. Do I have anything behind there? I do. I just have a couple of other purses behind there. You guys, my purse collection is not super extensive. So you will see, I don't have a whole lot of purses, but I do have some. So if you look back here, there's just a few more bags and then at the top here I have these lights that I got from Amazon these lights are motion activated so when I put my hand in there or put a bag back in there it just turns on and I have them in most of the shelves as you can see that one kind of turned on just so I can have some light in there and those were super inexpensive moving to the next shelf this one I would say these are probably some of my most used bags. these are all of my bags actually but um I use them so that's why I don't need that many purses because I use the ones I have and I love that so I just have my Louis Vuitton pouch that came with the Neverfull I have a Michael Kors like orange this is really pretty in the fall like burnt orange bag this is a Kate Spade bag here this one's really cute and I love the color combination. It's so cute. A little Marc Jacobs kind of round camera bag. My Coach Tabby that I love. I have this guy which I think I got from Just Fab before and that was a really cute purse. And then I have this like designer imposter Gucci purse right there and then I have more in the back I have a little small like tiny little backpack and then I also have this purse right here which is lucky brand I want to say and I got that years and years ago and it's just a really cute shoulder bag next level is where I keep my Louis Vuitton never full my new Telfar bag and also my new coach Dempsey this is a nice cute little bucket bag that I absolutely love the next level I just keep a few of my mules so I have these like Target mules I showed these in a haul recently and then I also got a pair of black ones black leather ones from Steve Madden and I love those so much so I just keep those there because I wear them often and at the bottom here I have my knee high boots. So I have a pair of, these are a pair of leather Ugg boots here. I have some black suede knee high boots. I have these same boots in like a burnt orange in the back. And then there are a pair of brown knee high boots back there as well. And that is the first section. Moving along to the middle section, this is probably my favorite section. 
I don't have many clothes hung in this unit as you guys can see but it really does take the pressure off of my master closet upstairs like it just helps so much to get all this stuff out of there so for the fall like obviously flannels are my thing I have them in every color and I just love wearing them they're a great addition to like tie around the waist if you're wearing some leggings or something like that I also love my blue jean shirts they're really really cute for the fall and the winter my long sleeve blue jean button ups and then i have a couple sweaters down here like i got this cutie from tj maxx i got this guy from target which i just showed in a clothing haul well i will be showing in an upcoming clothing haul and then just a few other like lightweight tops that i love down to the middle section you guys i don't exactly know what i want to do with this middle section permanently what i have been doing is when i get new clothes before i put them away or open them or whatever or if i want to show them like in a video i will leave them right here so this is an order i just got in from pretty little thing i just have it sitting there because i haven't opened it yet and then i keep my wallets in here as well so i have my apple watch bands and then wallets so i have my little louis vuitton wallet that i recently got the card holder i have this one from kate spade which is just really cute and you guys don't mind my nails i just took my acrylics off so i'm trying to figure out what i want to do next with them so leave them alone <laughs> then i have this little ysl wallet this is a wallet that i got in mexico earlier this year and i have been literally wearing it like every day since so love that guy also this is a, just a little coin purse it's it's not louis vuitton it, i actually got this from amazon like a couple years ago and i use it as like a little coin purse in my purse i have this kate spade black wallet it's probably one of my favorite wallets ever i don't know why i love it it's just so functional though like it's nothing special it's just super functional it holds all your cards it has pockets to hold like receipts and things like that and then um, it also has a change purse in the back and then lastly i just have this gucci wallet mark got me this for mother's day a few years back and i love this guy also so i keep that over here as well and wallets are really cute pieces to like display out. So I just leave this in the corner back here. Moving down, this is my favorite drawer of the whole unit because I don't know, I just, I took my time putting this one together and I love it so much. This is an absolutely huge, I don't know if you guys can really see how long this is. It's an absolutely huge tray. And so I always have a problem trying to figure out where I should put all my glasses, how to store my jewelry in a really cute way. And I think this is perfect. I got this little sticky felt right here. I got that from Joann's a few weeks ago and it is just perfect in here because every time I open the drawer, everything was kind of just moving around. So now it doesn't do that with the sticky felt at the bottom there. So you can see the bottom of the drawer was white and I just added this I needed six pieces and it covered most of it which is fine because you don't really see the back anyway so this left side I got these trays also from Joanne and these actually were jewelry trays and they had like the little sections almost like this one and what I did was take out all the different dividers in the sections and I was just able to get these cute what are these suede velcro velvet velvet these cute velvet trays and I thought these were perfect to add all my sunglasses into and then all of my like blue light glasses y'all know I'm obsessed with blue light glasses so I was able to put everything in these two trays I'm missing a couple but oh this just gives me life when I look at this on top of that I just have just some random well this is all my jewelry honestly I don't have that much jewelry because I'm not a big jewelry person as you guys have probably noticed so I have a few pieces from Ana Luisa and I've been loving their jewelry lately. I'm actually wearing their earrings right now. And these are also Ana Luisa earrings. They're just so cute and dainty. And then I have like some, like these, which I'll probably never wear, honestly. These just feel heavy. But these are from Fashion Nova and I just haven't used them. So they're there. Some sunglass cases in the back and um, more earrings. So 
a pack from Forever 21, just a pack of hoops. I have these, which I think come from Amazon, which I got a while ago and I just haven't worn them. And then a few bracelets. I recently picked up this guy, this Tory Burch bracelet. So I think this bracelet is so darn cute. It's in this mustard yellow color and it just has the Tory Burch symbol. I think I'm gonna buy a couple more, but I love this bracelet. It was kind of big though. I got it in this, what did I get it in? Small, medium or just, no, I got it in a medium and it was too big. So I need to get the small, but I love it. It's so cute. And then I have this one that I've been raving about from Ana Luisa that I have been loving. And then I just have my favorite larger gold hoops i have my c necklace from amazon and then i have this pandora i'm not a big fan of pandora bracelets like i've had this for maybe five six years my mother-in-law gave me this and the thing turned and i don't wear it like i probably worn it once or twice and it turned like do y'all pandora bracelets do this i don't i'm not a fan of pandora my mother loves it i just i don't wear bracelets so i don't i don't go buy any but like I said, my mother-in-law got me that for, I think it was Mother's Day or my birthday one year. And the whole thing turned, so I don't know. I have another little bracelet here and my mom got me this one year and it just says daughter on it. This bracelet is, I think this is like an old like Juicy Couture bracelet <laughs> that I've had for years. And then I have some random earrings, my wedding ring, a Tiffany's bracelet back there. Another thing that turned, so yeah. Oh, this guy. My sister, my little sister gave me this um, when she was like 12. Maybe she was younger than that. And they were playing with clay and she made this for me and I never got rid of it. And I just, I don't know, I've had it ever since. And oh, this jewelry box. Mark got me this jewelry box for our third Valentine's Day together before we even got married. And it says three down forever to go. And we are on like our 13th Valentine's Day. But I will never, ever, 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 ever not, not have that. Like I'm gonna keep that forever. All right, let's move into the next drawer. In this drawer, I put all of my like sweatshirts. I have a lot of sweatshirts. That's what I mostly live in, in the fall and winter, especially this winter since I'm gonna be working from home. It's like sweatshirts and little sweaters. So I have like Christmas ones in the back and then I just have random ones. So this one I just got from Target. It says thankful. Some sweaters I got from Express. I think I got this red one from Fashion Nova. There's all types in here. And I just keep them in this drawer. And it was it was getting hard to store all these. Like I didn't know where I was gonna store all these upstairs. And this drawer just came in handy and it holds like all of them because it's so, like just look how large it is. It holds so much, it's crazy. And if my folding was better, it'd probably hold more to be quite honest. And again, if I ever needed more space, I could always raise this guy and add another one of these drawers and voila, I'd have an extra drawer, drawer space there. It's perfect. Moving into the second drawer, it's, it's not even full at all. I just kind of, these are some new things I just kind of threw in there that I just got. And um, then I have just t-shirts, sweaters. I don't know. This drawer is really random. It was just like leftover stuff. The last drawer is a tech drawer. I didn't really need any more clothing drawers. I actually could have used one more. However, I just, I needed somewhere to store all of my tech stuff. And so I ended up putting it in here, like my camera lenses, boxes and cords that come with the camera. That stuff can get so out of whack so fast if you're not careful. So I just ended up storing all that stuff in here. And I, I like that I have one place for it. Moving into the last section of the pack system, it's this guy right here. And this is really the most boring side. This side houses my jeans. I have about three or four pair of jeans that don't fit in this, which is fine. I just keep them folded upstairs, which I might actually fold them and put them in that second drawer. But 
there's like three or four pair of jeans that just don't fit i just feel like it looks bad if i only have three or four pair of jeans down here and then it'll also like cover my shoes and i'd rather use this for shoes so i said i think i'm gonna get i'm gonna pull this rod out and get another shelf here and that'll hold some more stuff so um just jeans all of my jeans and then i have four more pairs of boots down here i have some over the knee boots two pairs of over the knee boots a leather two leather pair actually one with heels one without and then these like so look i have pool noodles in all of my boots i have cut up pool noodles and i put them in all of my boots so they stand up in the closet and i just grabbed a pack from amazon and they are so perfect but these boots i think are so cute they go with jeans so cute and they're so comfortable and i got them from just fab a couple of years ago and i just love them same with these i got these from just fab also so cute and so comfortable and i got i probably got them like i probably got them like six years ago and they still hold no y'all they still going strong Lastly, this isn't a part of the pack system, but I figured I would show you the whole wall. So more of the five drawer sets from Amazon, like I told you guys, I got. And then I have this, which you guys have seen before, which is my perfume rack. I keep all of my perfumes up here, and it's just like a lazy Susan that I picked up from Amazon. I can link that. I have all of my dossier perfumes, which you guys know that I'm obsessed with. All of my dossier perfumes, my... Um, Fenty perfume, my little minis, Joe Malone, what is that, Valentino, YSL, you know, we got all of them, Hermes, Marc Jacobs, we got them all up here, so I love, love, love this guy, and y'all know, y'all know this my baby right here, this is one of the best perfumes I have, I mean, ever smelled, I just love it, love it, love it, and then I got my little fall decor, so this is editing CC here. Hey y'all, I just realized I forgot to do an outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. If you like this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button and also click your notification bell and follow me on Instagram for more pictures and content. And follow me on Instagram for more content. I love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget the links will all be down below in the description box and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.